Hello guys, welcome back to the Ross Vlog. Today, we're at Kennywood. We always have a good time here. It's a solo trip, meet up with some friends, ride some rides. You guys should come join us, won't you? Well, we might as well start big. Go big or go home, right? Whatever. Steel curtain, we're gonna do that first mainly because the line gets super big. Uh, and it tends to shut down a lot. Actually, I don't see it going now. May not be a good sign. May get over there and uh, not be able to ride. In which case, we'll come up with plan B. But this is a awesome steel coaster. One of the best. I love it. Other than the title, other, other than the name, uh, and the area it's in, Steelers Country, yeah, we could do without all that. But the coaster itself is great. Well, since I don't think that is working, we're gonna go on Racer instead, because it's a great coaster. Wonder why that never runs. That never seems to be running. Maybe it's just never running when I'm here. Losing the lead. We were in the blue and we lost. Boo. Unfortunately, since these are so tucked into the hills back there, that's the only view of the coaster I actually get. So I can't really show you much of the coaster. That kind of sucks. Looks like this is up and running. Where did they go? There they are. I guess we're headed there next. I love this view of it because it's just such a entangled mess of track. But it's so awesome. Such a great ride. So smooth. So fast. Upside down nine times. Absolutely love it. Probably my favorite ride in this park. One of my favorite rides, period. And they're about to have a good time on it. Okay, after a quick lunch, just had some chicken fingers. Time for a coaster I've never been on yet. Thunderbolt. We did not do this last time. Another wooden coaster. They got a ton of wooden coasters here. And I love it. Oh, here we go. Enter here. Thunderbolt, man, is that a good wooden coaster. It is old school. Uh, you have to be sitting with someone. And here's why. Once you get up here, and you start going around these turns. Give it a second. These turns down here, you are sliding all over the seats. All these turns. Then you go around again, do it all over again. And again, you're sliding all over the seat. It's a wild ride. I like it. Good times. So from an old coaster to a newer coaster. Time to do Phantom's Revenge. Another great coaster. They got a lot of good coasters here at Kennywood. Really good coasters here at Kennywood. Pittsburgh, Lost Kingdom. With Pittsburgh spelt wrong. Why is Pittsburgh spelt wrong? That's where we're headed. Phantom's Revenge. But seriously, why is Pittsburgh spelt wrong? Why is there no H? Actually, I already know the answer. I'll have to tell you the story one time. To be honest, the lines aren't long at all. I mean, we're getting right on stuff. Uh, waiting 10, 15 minutes at most. Maybe 20. This line, maybe 20 minutes. Back of Thunderbolt there. Steel curtain still going in the distance. busy having a good time I'm pretty sure 95% sure Lincoln could go on that so next time we bring him we're going on that because that looks, looks fun it's like a little semi coaster but not really coaster get him used to a coaster I don't know, it looks fun Wow that is an intense ride jeez 
especially the back half. Holy crap. That's a rough ride. Fountain time. Love our fountains. Nice breeze. Mist of the fountains coming off of them. Yeah, this is nice. When you get tired of these fountains, which I don't know how you ever would. But if for some reason you ever got tired of these fountains, let's turn around and you look at that one. And I'm, I think I'm missing a photo here. I need to be in that group. There we go. A better fountain shot. I kind of want to just dive in the water. It looks so cool. It's getting warm out. I gotta uh, get some work done around my house so we could uh, do some water stuff with Lincoln. Right now we're going to the gift shop. Uh, I've never been in this gift shop. I complained there was no big gift shops. The last time I was here, well here it is, big gift shop. Still just not impressed with the shirts and everything from here. I'm just not feeling them. I don't know, just just something about the shirts here. I, they don't wow me like they do at Cedar Point. Cedar Point's got some nice shirts. Okay, after all these roller coasters, time for a nice relaxing ride on Thomas the Train? That's not Thomas. Where's Thomas? I want to ride with Thomas. That's some bullet train. I wonder what happened to Thomas. There we go. back here, more scenes and stuff painted. Kind of a boring train ride to be honest. Oh hey, there's Thomas. Wonder why he's hanging out back here, not pulling the train. Huh. But yeah, they need like a mural or something. Because uh, this side is all really just a wall of various things. Brick walls, wood walls, metal walls. Just a bunch of walls. Nice little uh, planted island there. Apparently we're in Africa. And just like that we're in Australia. And two seconds later, where are we going to be? China. We're really touring the world fast. Brazil. Oh, United States. Where are we going to end up? Where are we ending up? Pittsburgh with the H. Personally, I like checking out the steel mill across the street or across the river. Is a huge steel mill. That's a fun little train ride, but I feel like they missed an opportunity to make that super cool. Uh, do some scenery, do some uh, things on the walls, do something. It's just kind of a boring ride, to be honest. There's some music playing in the background, but that's it. I think it's time to do it again. Back on Steel Curtain. Well, it looks like Skyrocket's next on the list. Wait, wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Ooh, and we get to go through the mist. Oh, this is gonna be great, but I can put the hammer away. That's a fun little coaster. Uh, lasts only a little bit over a minute. I think like a minute and like five seconds or something. So if the line's short, it's worth doing. If it's longer, it may not be the best coaster here. Uh, but I like it, I enjoy it. Okay, uh, I need to see what's going on next, I'm not sure. Time to do the kangaroo. Fun little flat ride. Holy line. 
that is a long line for a flat ride. I get it, it's a like classic ride for this park. Maybe we'll come back later and try it. Uh, yeah, I'm not waiting that right this second. Jack Rabbit time. Also, I can't wait to see this park at night because uh, I think it's gonna look amazing, especially like this kind of stuff. Can't wait to see it at dark. So we went on to Jack Rabbit, then uh, we decided to go on Steel Curtain again because it was only like a 25 minute wait. Uh, now we're checking out the, I don't even know what this place is called, End Zone Cafe. Because we're never in here. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, they got some different options that the uh, other cafe doesn't have, like nachos and waffle fries and loaded waffle fries. Yeah, might have to try this one day. I still gotta do dinner, so might do this for dinner. Barbecue pulled pork and fries, ooh. Yeah, maybe eating here. Now it's time to do the kangaroo. I'm excited for this. It's a uh, classic flat ride that I've never been on. At least never been on this style of it. I don't know why, it just looks fun. going pretty quick too. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my gosh, was that like the funnest little flat ride. That's amazing. Definitely going on this like every time from now on. I don't know why it's so amazing. It's just amazing. You literally feel like you're in a kangaroo or you're kangaroo hopping. Yeah, that's awesome. We're on the hunt for funnel cakes right now, but right now I am loving the neons on the turtle ride. In fact, I have a feeling when all the lights are on in this place, it's gonna be amazing. I think I said that already. I might be repeating myself, but I cannot wait, especially at the uh, front of the park, to see all the lights. Yeah. So found the funnel cakes, but uh, that line is not moving at all. So what do impatient people do? We go on roller coasters. <laughs> We're going back on Thunderbolt. This time rode in the middle. It is a much, much better ride in the middle than it is on the back. I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, that and I knew what to expect. It was a good ride. They're about to feel this with triple force. So there's a lot, and you get smashed if you're on the inside. Right there, you get smashed. Then you do it again. Something else I've never done was this uh, Ghostwood Estates. Oh, it's closed. Boo, I guess we're not gonna do it today either. Maybe next time. Boo. More neons. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking that up as good as uh, it looks in real life. I love them. Loving all the neons. And that's a fun ride, in my opinion. Lincoln liked it. Yes, I'm loving it. I knew I'd love all the lights once they're all lit up. Also, we might have an addiction uh, because that's where we're headed again. It is an addiction. I can't even see them. I don't know where they're at. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they're somewhere. This is such a great ride. It is really good at night too, I'll tell you that. Uh, way up there you get to see the whole park. Yeah. Favorite ride here. Top five. Top five rides, top five coasters on my list. Time to end the evening with one last coaster, the racer again, because it's a great coaster, a classic. And I love the lights. I think that's cool. I like all the lights. Yeah, I know I said that like five or six times, but I do, I love all the lights. Well guys, I think that is it from Kennywood. Great day riding a ton of coasters. I enjoyed myself, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, one more weekend full of 
theme park stuff coming up and then we'll take a break from it a little bit. So make sure to uh, join us back for Coaster Mania at Cedar Point. Talk to you next time. Bye guys.